Well, for congregational prayer, I mentioned that there was going to be a few things that we needed to uh, talk about this morning, uh, congregation, just some updates that you need to have. Uh, one is, and I forgot to put this in the bulletin, I apologize for that, but uh, one is that we got news from Mrs. Vanderkloot uh, that uh, her her test results uh, came back well, and uh, so that she is clear of any sign of cancer from those test results, and so we are so grateful for that. We also want to be in prayer for uh, David Feenstra's family. David uh, passed away this past week, uh, and so please be in prayer for them as they grieve, uh, including, of course, uh, Lita, uh, whose um, yeah, whose, whose husband was uh, related to the Feenstras um, through marriage. So uh, please pray for them. Also be in prayer, please, for Wayne Graves in particular. He's uh, come down with pneumonia, uh, we believe. He's on antibiotics and so on. But uh, yeah, he's having some real uh, struggles with breathing in particular at the moment. He is at home um, and uh, his his uh, breathing seems to be getting better, but please do be in prayer for him. Also, please pray for Chris Smid. As of the time of recording this, he is in the hospital um, at BGH. Uh, his platelets are extremely low, um, and he seems to have some sort of effect infection in his elbow as well, they think. Um, so, uh, yeah. He is feeling nauseous and not well at all. So please be in prayer for him, for the doctors, for Heather, and for the family um, that, uh, yeah, he would uh, recover very soon from this. Please also um, praise God together with Chris and Stephanie Treemstra. They had, uh, they had a baby boy born this past week, Aiden Shane Paul. And he is doing very well. He and Mummy are both doing very well. And so we are very grateful for that. As for the announcement, at this particular moment, I don't know what it is. Uh, and so I will let you know as soon as I can. And uh, we'll go from there. Now let's pray. Father in heaven, thank you so much for this time that you can uh, gather us together, even virtually. Lord, we pray that you will uh, you will guide us uh, as we come to your scriptures in the message in a few moments. Thank you so much for how we have been uh, able to worship you and praise you and hear your scriptures and learn from them already in this service. We pray, O oh God, that you will be with us um, this week, Lord, especially, Lord, we think about all of those pastoral concerns that we just raised. We are so grateful together with Chris and Stephanie for their new baby boy. Uh, we pray that you will bless him and that you will help to raise him along with his brother and his cousins and so on, that you will raise him together with his parents in the way that uh, he should go. Father, we pray as well uh, very much that you will be with Chris right now uh, as he struggles with um, with a low point in his health in terms of his platelets um, and this infection. Lord, please um, heal him, we pray, O oh God. And Lord, we pray that as well for Wayne. God, God please give Sherry strength, but please also um, work either through the medications or the body's own processes or, uh, or your miraculous healing touch. Please uh, heal Wayne we ask, O oh God. Father, we are so grateful that uh, Wilma got good news from her test results this past week, and we pray that uh, she will continue in good health uh, for many more years to come. And God, we ask that you would be with the family of David Feenstra as they mourn. Be with all of those uh, who are grieving at this time. O oh God, we pray. We pray for all of these folks, and we pray also for all of those who are struggling in an ongoing way with health concerns. Lord, please help them and heal them. For all of us 
who are maybe struggling with loneliness or isolation too, Lord, we pray that you will also comfort those of us who are struggling with that as well. Please, O oh God, be with our high school students who are coming to the very end of their semesters and are looking to start new semesters very soon. Please be with all those students who are heading back to in-person school. Please be with our province as it continues to work on rolling out vaccines. Please be with this whole world, O oh God. We are in such desperate need of you, O oh God. Not only that, O oh God, but help us to see See that it is you, it is you to whom we should be looking. God, not that we should neglect science, not that we should neglect health care, not that we should neglect uh, human compassion, oh God, but please help us to realize that ultimately everything good comes from you. O oh God, we pray all of these things, and we ask that these, our tithes and offerings, would be a pleasing aroma to you as well. May they go to your good work in spreading the good news throughout this world. We ask it all in Jesus' name. Amen.